Hello, my name is Josh, and today we will be unboxing a parcel that arrived today. So this is the new Pi Top. So it's a modular laptop. It comes with the new DIY Inventors Kit. It's powered by the Raspberry Pi, and with the Inventors Kit, you can create over 20 projects. So if we look at the side here, it's got an 8 hour battery life, a full HD 14 inch screen, a 180 degree hinge, it comes with a cooling bridge which we'll show you in a minute, and a sliding modular rail, and it also comes with a 8GB SD card with the PyTot operating system on. So there's di loads of different apps that come with the PyTop. So you've got Scratch, Minecraft, and you can access YouTube. So if we look at the bottom of the box, so this is the new um, Inventors Kit in use here. And we'll um, unbox it in a minute and we'll show you what's inside. So there's three different um, cardboard cutouts that come with the Inventors Kit and some exclusive apps just for Pytops. So if we open the box up... So at the top here are the cardboard cutouts. So there's three here, the Music Maker, Space Race and the Smart Robot. So that's the one for the Music Maker. The Space Race and the Robot. So this is the contents list here, and it shows you how to pack your box up. So we have the different starter guides. So there's two booklets in here. Just take these out. So the first one is the getting started guide. This shows you how to build your Pi Top and uh, put your Raspberry Pi in. It also includes the Pi Top OS SD card which we put in our Raspberry Pi later. And this is the Inventors Guide booklet which shows you how to build the different projects with the Inventors Kit. And this is the actual PyTop laptop here. So, it comes in the lovely PyTop green. So this is the um, HD screen, the keyboard and mouse, and the cool thing about this new Pi Top is the sliding keyboard to reveal the modular rail. So this is where you can slot in your Pi Top add-ons like the Pi Top Pulse and the speaker. This is where the Raspberry Pi goes, and this is the cooling bridge to get maximum performance from your Raspberry Pi. On the back of the Pi Top here. We have the power port, the audio port, the two USB slots, and the Ethernet port. This is the inventor's kit here. So if we open that up, pull the plastic tab off. So it comes with a set of resistors here, a ultrasonic sensor, two buttons, two potentiometers, a microphone and a buzzer, an LDR sensor, six LEDs, and the new PyTop Proto Plus, which slots onto your um, PyTop modular rail. So this is the GPIO pins here, the breadboard, and you've also got some ADC connections. You also get some jump wires, so you can connect from the GPIO ports to the breadboard to create your projects. We'll now set up the Pi Top and we'll show you how it all works. So let's now build our Pi Top modular laptop. So if we open up the screen, slide out the keyboard. Now the new Pi Top comes with this Pi Top multi tool, and this is a great idea because it acts as a screwdriver and a tool to remove your SD card. So the first step is to take out the cooling bridge. 
Now it's a good idea to um, keep your screws in a little tub so you don't lose them for later. And the cooling bridge just comes out like so. So if we just put that to the side. And then we need to remove this cardboard cutout here. Okay, now if we slide the hub board to the side, we remove the cardboard cutout. So this is where we put on in our Raspberry Pi. So we're using a Raspberry Pi 3. So we put it in at an angle and push it into those USB ports there. Okay, so they're all screwed in, and now we need to put the cooling bridge back on. So the cooling bridge has a heat sink here, so that so pushes on the Raspberry Pi. Okay, so that's now on, and we pop the screw, the cooling bridge, back into the hook board, and then tighten that up. Okay, and then pop the multi-tool back. Okay, so if we take our SD card, out of the getting started guys so that this slides out and then we can insert the SD card into the Raspberry Pi. So let's boot up the Pi shop. So we press the power button. <laughs> So it boots up just like a normal Raspberry Pi, so here we can see it starting all the processes. So it's now booting into PyTop OS. Okay, so this is the getting started screen, so if we click get started, and then select our language. That's all correct, and then click reboot. And that will reboot the Pi Top.
and it'll reboot into the PyTop operating system again. Um, we click get started again. Click next. Agree. And select the keyboard layout. So the PyTop comes with a US keyboard. I'm going to skip the Wi Fi for now. Then click walk through. And that will take you to the dashboard. So, what we'll do now is we'll set up um, some Inventors Kit projects to show you how that works. So, now let's take a look at what we can do with our PyTop Inventors Kit, which comes with our new PyTop. Inside of the Inventors Kit is the new PyTop Proto Plus along with a range of different components that we can use with our Raspberry Pi. So this is a project that I built on top of the PyTop Proto Plus. It includes a ultrasonic sensor, some wires and resistors and we're going to create an ultrasonic ceremony with that. To install the PyTop Proto Plus inside of our new PyTop you can slide out the keyboard and then attach the Proto Plus to the modular rail and then slide it into the hub board to connect it to your Raspberry Pi. So, the ultrasonic ceremony uses two programs, Python and Sonic Pi. Sonic Pi uses a program called OSC, which stands for Open Sound Control, and this allows Python to send messages to Sonic Pi. So let's run the program in Sonic Pi. This is a live loop which will wait for commands from Python and then play the notes sent by the ultrasonic sensor. Let's run that. And then let's run the Python code which detects motion from the distance sensor. When I move my hand, the notes and the tone of the music will change in Sonic Pi. This creates an ultrasonic sound. So, now let's take a look at how we can use our favourite hats with the new PyTop. This is a PyTop Proto which can be purchased from the PyTop website. This allows us to use hats just like we would normally with our Raspberry Pi. You can put your hat on top of the PyTop Proto and then slide it into the hub board on the modular rail. I'm going to run the example code written by Pimeroni inside of Python 3. This will create an animation on the Unicorn Hat HD. That is how we use hats on the new PyTop. So, what do I like about the new PyTop? Well, my favourite thing is the sliding keyboard. This is a great way to access the Raspberry Pi and it is definitely a revolution. Also, I like the PyTop multi-tool. This was great for setup and made it easy to use. The cool thing about the new PyTop is to make the Raspberry Pi as portable as possible. I can now take my Raspberry Pi anywhere I want without having to dismantle my projects. Also, the cooling bridge is a great idea. This cools down my Raspberry Pi to stop it from overheating. Also, it's nice to have my Raspberry Pi in a laptop form. This is something that I've wanted for a while and the Pi Top ticks all those boxes. So far, I have not found anything that I don't like about the new Pi Top. The Pi Top lives up to its 8 hour battery life and the modular rail is great for accessing my hats and building projects. Having the Pi Top Inventors Kit is definitely a great add-on. This allows you to get started with physical computing straight away 
without having to go and buy any extra components. So this is another great product from Pytop and I would definitely recommend going and getting one if you're looking for a portable solution for your Raspberry Pi.